if attackers can somehow get access to someone's machine, you know, whether that individual has been a victim of a phishing attack or whatever, then the, the capability is to be able to, without their knowledge, read sensitive information in memory um, and they would be unaware of that, that capability. Uh, and that's a new approach to um, how we see the trend moving in that space rather than um, slightly more obvious or ransomware type attacks which seek to do something malicious. These are more clandestine and try and get sensitive information from, from memory. There's some now good case studies. The, the target breach in the US about two or three years ago is a good indication of that where their point of sales terminals fell prey to this type of attack. And that's how attackers were stealing credit card data from the memory within those tills and then cloning cards with that data. So it's the same technique, but it's finding its way more into the corporate world. Uh, the issue being that anything that's encrypted at some point to be useful needs to be decrypted. And where that decryption happens is in memory. So if you have a capability to read memory at that point in time, then you are recovering in plain text the, the sensitive data or the secrets, as it were. They have been fairly contained, as they say, within uh, retail environments where the value of credit card data is, is valuable to, to attackers or, or organized crime. But as we are seeing um, spear phishing attacks being a lot more targeted at individuals within corporate environments and targeting the information that they have, the access that they have within those organizations, uh, we are seeing that these types of techniques are moving into those more targeted niche areas. A lot of it is the usual uh, recommendations around endpoint security because the reason that these attacks work or succeed is that at some point you've managed to get this memory scraping capability onto someone's uh, computer. So it's usual things like having a whitelist of known good programs that are allowed to run on your, on your laptop, for example, and denying or blocking anything that doesn't match that. Having good user awareness and strong um, phishing campaigns within your organization to educate users about the risks and dangers of downloading um, you know, unknown or unauthorized pieces of, of code. So it, it's all that sort of thing, really, which, which is still, which is rather well understood, um, but it's, it's using that to the same effect to try and block these types of attacks. It is quite difficult to detect because what you're doing is just reading memory, which is a very basic atomic function of computers. It's not exhibiting any malicious behavior, which antivirus techniques have become known to detect with, with some you know, fairly decent accuracy. So what would probably have to happen is antivirus vendors may have to look at these types of techniques and develop some heuristics to try and better improve their capability of detecting a memory scraping type, type attack. Defense in depth, the perimeter, the user awareness, the endpoint security, all of these things combined will, will certainly help sort of mitigate the risk.